right, y'all. I am obsessed with personal development, and I had no problem preparing for tonight's call because I have seen how personal development works in my life. And even just talking about it with Jason, my fiance, today, he's like, you know, personal development has made a huge difference in your life. He can see the changes night and day. And I feel like sometimes we can feel so stuck in life, and we a lot of times we get in that mindset of like, and you, you begin to enjoy your life when you're on vacation or you begin to enjoy your life when you, when you can finally retire or look forward to the weekends. And I'm like, why do we have to wait until those moments to start enjoying our life? Like, why can't we just start enjoying our life now, despite like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, like we don't have to wait for a set, a set date or something to look forward to, to finally start enjoying our life. And that is something that put aside even Beachbody alone, like doing person moment will help your business immensely, but even just life in general. And I made a PowerPoint, and I'm going to share my screen. Okay. All right. Personal development. So I want to talk about um, a little of my story. Kelsey, time out. Are you recording? Yeah, I don't know how to move. I got it. Okay, ready? Wait, no. How do I move the these icons? Because I can't see what's on my slide. Like, all I see is people's faces. You moved over from me onto the, the this like the right hand side. You're not there. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, I got it. Woo. Okay, I'm gonna start recording. Cool. Okay, yeah, I think I'm too. But just in case, like record. Oh. You got it. It won't let me. So if you're recording already, good. I was just. Yeah, I think it is. It's it's beep. It's blinking. Okay, perfect. Sorry, I just want to remind you because I knew some people. Right. Okay, yeah. sorry. So a little, I just want to talk about a little about my story. I have not, I don't have like a rat and I took a lot of notes because I can ramble for hours about this. So don't mind me if you see me reading off, but before I don't have this like crazy rags to riches story, as you will see some beach body coaches have, I mean, prior to beach body, I think I, I have a pretty dang good life. I mean, I have an amazing family, friends. I have an awesome, um, I had an awesome boyfriend that I knew I was going to be engaged to at the time. I was getting ready to graduate college. I was Miss Delaware USA. I just got done competing at the Miss USA pageant. Yet when I still came, when I came home from the Miss USA pageant, I still felt very stuck in life. But I, I was, I was content with it. Like I was fine with it. I didn't really think much of it. And I had a very career-driven lifestyle, which resulted in minor depression and stress. And you're probably thinking, like, really, I was depressed. But I did. I had a very, sta I had a stage in my life that I went through a very sad stage. Like I cry all the time. I had no purpose in life and. I don't know what happened. Oh, I don't know what happened, but when I was in Arkansas with my fiance and it just dawned on me one time that I just needed to, uh, I had, a, I was longing for this bigger purpose in life. And I just started digging down into personal development. I started reading the Bible and like, you think I had everything going good for me yet. I was still longing for something greater in my life. And I read this quote back then and I found it because I, I created a blog that summer. I created a blog and it was called perfectly imperfect. My first blog name and it, this is what it said. The human spirit is truly unconquerable, but the will to win, the will to succeed, to shape one, one's life, to take control can only be harnessed when you decide what you want and believe that no challenge, no problem, no obstacle can keep you from it. When you decide that your life will ultimately be shaped, by, shaped not by your conditions, but by your decisions, then in that moment, your life will change forever and you will be empowered to take control of it. Having a very career-driven life lifestyle was awful for me just because in the sense I was always looking to achieve something greater. I was never living in like the present moment and personal development changed that immensely. So a little moving on. So I want you guys to ask yourself a few of these questions. And it is always easy as coaches to tell y'all what you should and should not do, but that is not the point. It is about empowering y'all to discover and learn more about yourself so you can live the life that you are destined to live. We can tell you all to read personal development, to do those three vile behaviors. And after this call, I hope you feel inspired to dive into person, a personal development book and be excited about it. But it is one thing to be motivated, but it is, an, it is another thing to be motivated sufficiently, to constantly work on yourself, do the readings repeatedly, repetition, go through it over and over until it becomes part of you. Believe me, when I first started personal development, it was weird. I would still have my ups and downs and stuff, but I committed to it every day. And soon before I knew it, the things that once made me upset weren't making me upset anymore. We lose our battles in our own thinking. Y'all, there is a recording. I know everyone can relate to, this, relate to this. There's a recording playing in our mind all day long. If that recording is negative, 
you are never going to reach your full potential. Bottom line. Tune those negative thoughts out and start saying to yourself, I am strong. I am talented. I have a bright future. Say what God says about you. Uh, the more you understand your life, the greater your chances of, are of success. And I want you to ask yourself some of these personal development questions regularly, and you will make better, more effective decisions about your life and the actions you need to take. So now, what, is, what exactly is personal development? Personal development, this is a, a definition I found. Personal development is the act or process of understanding and developing oneself in order to achieve one's fullest potential. Personal development is a vital part in a person's growth, maturity, success, and fulfillment. It is the foundation of mature personality, better relationship, happiness, success, and prosperity. Unfortunately, however, not everyone is aware of the importance of personal development. And I know even after I was a beach body coach, I took for granted personal development. I was so focused on just trying to get those challenge pack sales to get my success club points. And I was kind of losing sight of the bigger purpose. And Ashley can, she probably remembers me texting her oftentimes that like, I'm like, I don't, I'm not sure about this, Ashley. Like, I don't know. And, and like, you know, it really comes down to personal development because when Ashley was like, Kelsey, do your personal development. I did it and it made all the difference. And you, we can really tell who's doing their personal development or not, but people give more importance to like academic and professional achievement rather than personal growth. That has caused a lot of emotional struggles that many people go through in life because they lack the soft skills, like the spirituality skills, which are crucial to one's success and happiness. Such lack of self understanding and principle centered ways of living, living blocks one's ability to live an enjoyable and successful life. And I'm not telling all you can't be career driven um, academically driven, whatever, but I'm saying put, um, personal development first, because then you will see your, you find yourself reaching your fullest potential. Why is personal development important? And here are just a few reasons. Personal development is the process of improving oneself, like, like I just went over. It involves self-awareness, increasing self-knowledge, discovering your identity, realizing your passions, cultivating your potential, enhancing the quality of your life, realizing your dreams, fulfilling your aspirations, and why you need to adopt into your life. This commitment to personal development will change your life for the better. The life of your dreams, a considerably happier and more fulfilling life than you have right now. And your life might be great right now, but I guarantee there are probably some days when you feel like there has to be more to this. It's waiting for you to make the first move. Take that first step and you'll never look back. Everything you have ever wanted can be yours. And all you have to do is change your thoughts and take control of it. And you and introduce personal development in your life. It helps you just understand yourself better. It assists you in creating your goals and life purpose, etc. It supports you in managing your finances more wisely. It teaches you to build better relationships with people. It allows you to live a, just a well-balanced lifestyle. It provides an opportunity to take care of yourself. And no matter where you are today, your life is constantly a work in progress. Your personal growth will always be a lifelong pursuit. So you can be switching from job to job over and over, but the constant consistency you will have in your life is working on personal development, is yourself. We are each responsible for our own personal development. So it is down to us individually to act on what we learn and, what, and do this consistently. So why... Personal element is one of the three vile behaviors as a coach. And this is, like I said, this is something that I did not really take seriously in the beginning of when I first started as a beach body coach. In order to see continual growth in your business, you have to constantly be working on yourself. Personal confidence. If you don't have the confidence in yourself, the people you're trying to help aren't going to have any confidence in you. You have to have confidence in what you can accomplish. And I like to go back to the saying is like kind of fake it till you make it. Um, if you don't really have the confidence in yourself, I think you, we give off those vibes and like the coaches you are bringing on and even the challengers you are having in your challenge group are going to pick up on that. And you don't want that to happen. Organization. You have to understand and learn how to prioritize, organize, and effectively manage your time, especially for y'all new coaches. As you find yourself bringing on more and more coaches, like I'm learning now, you need to stay completely organized. Now I have like three different notebooks. I have one coaching notebook. I have a challenge notebook. I have a potential coaches notebook. I have a prospect notebook. I have a contact notebook. You Staying organized is important because before I got all these notebooks, I was literally just jotting down things all over the place. And I was, my hair was like, ah, and I just, I went crazy and organ, organ, 
organization is crucial and personal development helps with that because there are personal development books like John Maxwell has really good books about leaderships and stuff. Improving your leadership skills. If you don't know how to lead people effectively, your business will not move forward. Like I just said, I recommend as you begin to bring more, bring more coaches on your teams, I definitely would read one of John Maxwell's books. I actually have it here. Hold on. Um, this is a great one that I'm just finishing up right now. John Maxwell, The 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth. Building social media knowledge. There are plenty of books out there that teach you how to be effective on social media too. I know there are a few coaches, they might not be on this call right now, but that feel a little vulnerable when it comes to social media. There are trainings for that, y'all. You just have to find out, use your resources, use the back office, contact one of your coaches, one of the upline coaches. And even there's a group on Facebook for dedicated to social media to help us. Also, building relationships, how to influence people and establish trust. Like I said, like I've been saying on previous calls that us coaches, we're not here to just sell people a product or a program. We are really here to establish relationships, to build their trust, and to help them change, change their lives. Like Beachbody has changed our lives. I know it has changed mine immensely. Not as far as come to fitness, but it has really given me that greater purpose in life. Now, I found this awesome analogy today online, and I want to share it with y'all. You can feel, close your eyes if you want, it's up to you, but um, imagine personal development is like a plant. If you take care of it by giving it the reasonable amount of water, sunlight, and soil, it will grow into a healthy and beautiful tree. But if you neglect it and won't pay attention to what kind of nourishment it needs, then expect that plant to get dry and eventually die. Personal development is like how you nurture a plant. If you don't recognize the importance of personal development, you will continue living through life's hard circumstances, feeling like a victim instead of a victor. You will stick to your belief that you cannot do something to change and improve your situation. As such, you will continue complaining and being negative with almost everything in your life. You will constantly feel lost with your own life purpose, struggling to find who you are and what you want to become. But if you open yourself in learning personal development, you will experience a great leap in your life. You will start to become more positive in your outlook. You will be more proactive rather than reactive. You will start to create your life rather than letting circumstances create it. You will be able to find your own purpose and enjoy your life to its fullest. And I really resonate with this analogy too in the sense of the last sentence, rather than letting your circumstances create it. I found myself a lot back, back last summer before I even began this beach body stuff letting my circumstances define my life. The littlest thing would annoy me, my whole day would be shot. Now I find myself being consciously aware of those negative feelings coming on. Yeah, I still feel negative feelings, but I, but through personal development, I am able to control those negative thoughts by taking a step back and realizing, like, is this really something to be mad, mad over? And at least I know we talked about this today. So a few takeaways. Do a minimum of 20, 10 to 20 minutes of personal development a day. That's really essentially all you need. Especially I recommend doing it like 10 minutes before you go to bed, 10 minutes right in the morning to really end your night with that and start your day off with it. Deve download a good devotional app or um, some kind of, or have a book by your nightstand and just really start getting in the habit of doing, incorporating that into your daily um, activity. If you want to grow your coaching business and become your best self, then you really must do personal development. Take it from my, I've seen um, it help immensely with my coaching business. I'm sure Ashley can say the same. And then just honestly look at any of the top coaches of Beachbody. They'll probably say that the number one thing, or maybe it might, they, rank, they might rank it number two, then that um, be, um, personal development is extremely important for the success, the success of your business. Also, commit to reading a book a month. I like to do that. I like to challenge myself, read a book a month. Sometimes I'll end it and then be able to like, do a book and a half a month. Or listen to an audio book and tape. I know Ashley's really big in like audio tapes. I know we can do download the GoPro audio book and whatnot. Do that and while you're working out at the gym. Have it in your ear or while you're driving to work or in the car. Listen to it. And the most important is be intentional with personal development. I don't want this to be like a uh, like you have to read it and you have to skim through the pages. Like I have so many books here and I'm literally so intentional with personal development. I highlight and then after I'm done that chapter, I go on Microsoft Word and type all the key um, things I want to constantly remember. And then I download that 
a Word document into my notes. So I'm just constantly reading it. Be intentional. It's so important because then soon you'll find yourself, it's like subconsciously working in your mind and you're not even thinking like of doing anymore. I find that self, my, myself doing that now. It's more of subconsciously now that since I've been doing it so consistently. I hope that makes sense. Oh, I feel like I rambled a lot there. <laughs> And then I found this quote that I want to end with. There's only one corner of the universe you can be certain of improving, and that's your own self. So you have to begin there, not outside, not on other people. That comes afterward, afterward when you have worked on your own corner. So that is it. Any questions? Any questions, y'all? Kelsey, what devotional do you do? Do you do this calling? Oh, I, yeah, I have done that, but I have an app. Yeah. Yeah, it is just the, the type devotion app, the devotion app. Hold on. This is what it looks like. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah, that one. Really good. And all you moms or wives out there, um, also, uh, there's Unveiled Wife, and you can get those online. So good. Yeah. Honestly, like, I, my husband gets them. I, like, have my husband signed up for it, too. So, like, puts husband or wife, you know, and he intermixes them. And, like, literally, it's, like, what we talk about. A second later, he's, like, this is not a coincidence. Ashley, look. You know, like, it's daily. We're, like what the heck? It's like, they know what is going on in our lives. You know? <laughs> like, That's so true. Cause Liz sent me a devotion today that completely like I needed it. And it was just so weird how like, it's just weird how it's all like lined up. Well, that's cause I left that one. I didn't do it before I left for the weekend. And that See, was the first weekend. Time. See that's <laughs> weird. <laughs> Everything happens for a reason like that. And that's what's so cool about it. You yeah, know? It's cool. Really cool. So I was thinking, you guys, since we are doing GoPro, and, and I don't know if you guys went out and bought the book, but I'm doing the audio again. Since probably most of us are going to do the audio, am I right? Shake your head, yes or no? Yes, yes. Yeah, I have the book. I do iTunes. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Since most of us are probably going to do that, like, you want to do it in two weeks and then start another book in two weeks because, you know, I don't, it's just, it goes so quick for me. GoPro is such an easy read anyways. Yeah. I think we should do two weeks on it. Um, we can talk a little bit about it next week, and then we'll finish it off on in two weeks. That's good. And then we'll start a new book after that. Yeah. Um, I really like what Kelsey just held up, the 15 irrefutable laws of leadership. That is probably what we should do next. It's such a great book. Especially actually, yeah, yeah. Like you guys started talking like November or something. Beast Buddy actually like sent those books out. Like that's how much they love that book. Mm -hmm. So, what's the app for? What is that? Sorry. Oh, uh, sorry. What's the what's the app again? You were just saying that you and Zachary just. Is oh, it on I, I get it online. I get it in my email. It's called Unveiled Wife. Oh, Unveiled. Okay. Unveiled Wife. Yeah. I don't know. It could be an app, but I just get it emailed to me. Yeah. That's another awesome, awesome one. And I wanted to say just a couple of notes that I took from Kelsey. Like, I love in the very beginning, Kelsey, it's not like our, our, where we are in life, but it's our decisions about where we want to go in our life that is going to shape our lives. Like, I mean, it's not, you know, your circumstances can, don't ever let your circumstances define you. Like, like me, I am home alone with three kids day in, day out. Like, I honestly don't know some days, <laughs> you know, and it literally like I have to force myself to do this business, but look, I mean, literally within, you know, five months now, since I've really started working on my business and making the decision that this is what I'm going to do and I'm going to be successful at this, like y'all, like look at this team, it's growing and it's amazing and it's just so awesome, you know, like just know that like just making that simple decision of doing your power hour or doing your personal development or getting your workout in like it changes. It's like the compound effect, which is another book we need to do like that. I mean, it just, it compounds guys and it like, it changes your life. Like 
That's why you guys know this and believe it because it's so, so, so true. And like I want, I forgot to mention how, like I was reading in my book today, like it, they talk about how personal development is not easy. Like it's not, it's not easy challenging yourself, but that's the point of personal development. The point of personal development is really digging deep and finding yourself and challenging yourself to do new things. So that's very important. So at, like Ashley said, there are, there are some days she's like, what? She's like, I don't know. And we all have those days, I'm sure. But it's important to really dig down deep and commit to that. Yeah. Like, I know I probably said this to you guys before, but like in the beginning when I started coaching and it was like, oh, you need to do personal development. I was like, ah, there's nothing wrong with me. What do I need to like, <laughs> be like, you know, that to me, I was like, it didn't make sense to me. I just didn't have that mindset. I was like, what do you mean that we work on myself? You, know, you work on yourself, you know? <laughs> like, well, a lot of people have that like mindset, Ashley. A lot of people have that mindset. Exactly, because they don't, and just like me, you just don't, you don't understand it until you dive in. You're like, yeah. everything makes so much sense once you dive in. You know, you're like, oh my gosh, I did need this. <laughs> I <laughs> have not, like you're in your marriage, in your relationships, like, everything. With your family, like, I mean, just rounds you off completely. Yeah. Like, I find myself not rushing through life anymore. Like, I was so, like, r rushing with everything and, like, always just thinking what next. And that, and, like, that's because that's your age. Like, I was the same way. Yeah, but, like, now, now I'm like, yeah, but now I find myself content and, like, enjoying the moment, enjoying the what, like, the now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so important because you're only 21 months. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah and also you guys have another place for you to find um, 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 personal development on um, your success tab I don't know if you said that Kelsey the success tab I in love your that, yeah. office you know, there's so much good stuff in there so say you just you know you have five or ten minutes here or there just jump on that like in the car or something like it's awesome and also if you go if you have like an iPhone I, I don't know what it's like on the Android but um, on your iPhone you got the, um, what's it called? I'm such a bad talker. I always forget what words I want. Um, the podcast. If you go to podcast and type in Beachbody, like it comes up, all your national wake up calls are on there. Um, team trainings from different teams are on there. Um, just, I mean, a ton of stuff. Ton, 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 ton of stuff. Uh, stuff from, you know, calls from, about, from, you know, what Carl's been on and just everything that is on there. So if you do have time for some, like for, when I have like my long drive somewhere, like I'll jump on that and yeah. just do like. Um, hey, Ashley, is there a different one than Team Beachbody? I just, do, I just do Beachbody. I just put Beachbody in and then like it comes up with a ton of different stuff. Okay. Because I just do, I think mine's Team Beachbody and it's just the national wake up calls. Oh, but, yeah, yeah. Just, but I would like to have more because I always run out of stuff. Like I've gone back so far where I've gone to listen to, they have um, all the workshops from Summit on uh -huh. there. Those are really, really good. But like, yeah, they're really good to have in the car. And yes, um, real fast. Hey, Kelsey, what's that one book that you like? Is it the Devotional Heart? Oh, I have it right here. Hold on. It's so good. A confident heart. A confident heart. Okay. Renee Swoop. 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 <laughs> Does anybody have like a personal development book that you've done that like was your favorite or that you guys want to do in this book club? That we can write down. Um, the Brian Tracy book is good. Eat the, that rock. Eat that rock. Yeah. Oh, that was my first one. Um, Fifteen laws. Uh, eat that frog. Um, whatever. Just a compound effect. Start. And another one. Um, you yeah, you're badass. You are very good. Um, I'm excited for book club. Book club will be good. No, it'll be good. Like we're all that'll like make sure that we're doing. Not that I'm like keeping tabs on each one of you about your personal development, but I should because it's that important. You, you can tell who's doing their personal development. 
That's true. That's very true. Liz, my coach Liz, I can tell you do your devotional. Like, I can just tell who does their personal development. Becky Albini, she's doing her personal development. Look at her. I mean, she's in her coaching and but yeah hey guys i'm gonna get all your sc points up on a thing for you too congratulate everybody who did awesome last month i just literally did not have time um but i'm gonna do it I'm so excited how awesome our team did like rallied in the end y'all like seriously i have zero right now though i this month is gonna be so slow <laughs> nope did you guys listen this morning carl said i know i heard Five, at least by summit. I'm going to do that in a minute. Like, I don't even care if I get I, five is like where I'm going for this month because it's just a, such a crazy month. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have five. I got, I have two. So I'm going for five for sure. Yeah, I'm so excited. So like right before this call, I had a message from a girl that I was kind of.